So hi, uh, my name is Ruben, and I'm just here to let you guys know that we're doing our album on Kickstarter. We're running it through there, and we're not doing our album on Kickstarter. We are um, putting out an album called Victoria Trap, and we have started a Kickstarter to help us get funding to do the uh, production costs. It's an awesome album. I think you'll love it, so please help us out. Still first met Joseph he was playing in another band and I was too and I noticed we had a lot of similarities in the way we played and the uh, the way we chose to do to use delay and stuff like that and a lot of melody in our guitar playing and right away we uh, we felt like we were kindred spirits he showed me songs like crawl uh, wilted heart Dust, dusty sidewalk and I was just like these are badass songs dude. you need to do something with them there was a few songs that I've had you know for since 2000, early 2000s, uh, and then I met Ruben. Um, I sent him a whole bunch of tracks, um, stuff I had had, and uh, yeah. So you know, once we kind of got together, started talking about the songs, it's, uh, he was uh, open to using a lot of the material. With Sal Mena, I met him. It's funny. I met him through my wife and through a mutual friend. And she's like, hey, I want to introduce you to this really cool guy I just met. He's an awesome guy. His name is Sam. And I remember right away, my friends all, his name is not Sam. His name is Sal. I'll take a step back and listen to everybody's playing and kind of match their sound, the, you know, the tempo. If I go out there and visualize how someone's playing, then I can, like, kind of relate something to that. With um, Mr. Dave Gary, Mr. Gary. I'd been going to uh, Mark Johnson at the Workhouse Recording Studio since I was like 16 years old, which is a long time ago, very long time ago. And I asked him, I was like, hey, I have a, a, I'm going to start working on a record and I need a drummer. I need a drummer to play a show and to help me develop some songs. And the first person he thought of was Dave Gary. He said, Dave Gary, here's his number. He'll, he'll play it, you know? Uh, it's a cool record. Uh, it came together very well. And uh, the way everything just flows, um, I think the order of the songs is going to be in the same way. We somewhat recorded them, but um, it's cool. It's uh, not like to get all 60s or whatever, but it's like a journey through a song that actually has a beginning and an ending. One of those ones you could just put on and you know let it play out. I met Amy through um, through Craigslist, and you know Craigslist is always a roll of the dice. It's always it you never know what you're gonna get with Craigslist. But she ended up being a very cool person. She had a lot of. Um, her taste in music was awesome. It was like exactly the same as me and very similar to Mike. I think one of the main themes on this record is full love, but like kind of a lot of his unrequited love or love that has gone sour. I've had a lot of fun experimenting with different sounds um, on the keyboard and the synth and finding what song, which sound goes with the songs. Last but not least, when I met Michael, we were both playing in different bands, and um, I remember being added to a bill. It was an awesome bill that was going to have a lot of people show up, and I thought it was a great experience. Uh, um, it was going to be great exposure for for the band that I was in. And I looked up, you know, all the other bands on the bill, and when I looked up Mike's band at the time, I was just blown away. I was just like, dude, these guys are super cool. You know, they're going to be. Um, that's going to be awesome to see. I played with those guys, you know? The songs feel like they're much more in the spirit of, of a band's work ethic and uh, much more of like a collaborative effort. Yeah. You know, going into the, into the writing, obviously... They all had to be good songs in order to make the cut. You know, if it was a song that I would feel super excited about, they wouldn't even be on the record. We had this huge catalog of songs that all of us have written, and uh, we really took some care into uh, picking the ones that we thought would would uh, fit the voice and the theme and, and um, the mood of, of the album. Been able to use the gear in, in the studio, um, really professional, great sounding. Uh, gear and 
it's made a big difference. There's a lot of cool prizes that we're, um, that we're offering. We're doing like anything from um, having breakfast with the band to having a dinner cooked by, by me, by yours truly. So yeah, pledge, pledge, pledge.